This episode was inspired by an interaction I had with a potential client who was one of those know-it-alls and knew exactly what was wrong and the precise treatment they needed and even knew how to do my job better than I did. Nothing is worse than when you come across one of these pain in the ass clients. And luckily I've had my fair share of them over my 14 years in practice, which makes me feel old just saying that out loud. And with all those past experiences, I have learned how to handle it accordingly anytime it happens. In this episode, I share some insights to why this might happen in your own practice, different levels of how to handle it, and a few resources to help equip you to not have to take shit from people who clearly have no clue what they're talking about. I hope you enjoy the show. Welcome back to The Soft Tissue Treatment revolution where we teach self-employed and overworked massage therapists a better treatment system that will allow you to cut your treatment times by at least 50 percent so you can stay healthy avoid the dreaded burnout and help more people get out of pain if you're new to the show and you don't know who i am my name is dr matt maggio i am a soft tissue injury treatment expert specifically for neck shoulder elbow and wrist pain my focus is on finding and fixing scar tissue and reducing inflammation from chronic injuries without the use of drugs injections or surgeries which does lead to a significant increase in overall functioning and long lasting pain relief thanks so much for stopping by and checking out the show just one quick announcement before we get in there and giving you a warning i got two emails last week from people complaining about my language and my use of explicitives or however you say it, and my grammar is as well. Um, just a reminder, I do use choice language. I am a grown man and I do not appreciate getting emails from you telling you to clean up my language. I don't need to hear that shit. And in what world do you think that you can tell a grown man to watch his language? If bad language or offensive language offends you, then you probably shouldn't listen. Just wanted to put that warning in there early and please do not send us emails and messages and critique and all that shit because we really don't give a shit about it and it just pisses me off and go watch content somewhere else and go be the moral police on your own time. So two stories inspired this episode. Stop letting your clients tell you how to do your job. So one was my own story. Um, was a couple of weeks ago, I remember when it happened, I made a note, but I was out with some friends and family and we were having a discussion and it was um, a parent of one of my friends and they were clearly, <laughs> clearly struggling, walking around with some crippling low back pain, was complaining about it and I'm not one to like, solicit people out in the open but the friend said hey you know dr maggio specializes in this type of treatment that fixes that type of pain he started asking me some questions we started talking got into the whole idea about like how i'm a chiropractor and i don't do adjustments and how i think adjustments don't do anything and actually make things worse what really causes the problem you know scar tissue buildup in the muscles all that stuff yada 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 and basically he goes well I believe in the chiropractic adjustments and they, they work really well. And I go, huh, they do, huh? They work real well. He's like, yeah, you know, the joint goes out of place and you got to pop it back in. And I just kept laughing. I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. And I'm watching this person be able to barely walk and limp around. I'm like, oh yeah, so that treatment's working real well for you because, you know, you just seem to be functioning at such a high level. And then continue to just tell me how chiropractic had helped him so much. And I was like, well, why didn't you go get adjusted? He's like, well, I've been going for the last couple of weeks and it's just not sticking this time and really just need to go back in there and, you know, just keep it going. I was like, yep, yep. And, you know, with those people at the end of the day, I'm not going to sit there and try to convince you that you need to change. You're just being an idiot. But I thought it was pretty funny that he was really held on to this idea that his old treatment worked. He knew exactly what was going to work. But clearly in the reality of the world, he was sitting there in some pretty excruciating pain and not able to move. But woe is me and whatever don't want clients like that anyway it was an older guy anyway i usually don't like working with older men anyway we tend to be a pain in the ass yeah i'm saying i'm old too i'm 38 but i'm a pain in the ass too but that was just an interesting story then i had another one uh, i put a post up about pain deep in the shoulder blade 
and the idea that it could be possibly a dorsal scapular nerve entrapment. Just a little insight there. If you don't follow us on the social medias, we post a lot of good content. We share that on the email list as well. And then the client was telling the provider, the provider basically said, you know, the client came in and said, hey, I got this pain deep in my shoulder blade and I need you to just get in there really deep with your elbow and, and, and beat it up and then throw some hot stones on it and then some cups and this is what's gonna fix it. And the client, not the client, the provider was like, that doesn't make sense, I wanna figure out what's going on. But they didn't wanna piss the client off and have the client not come back because they got stuck in this whole service idea and service mentality. You know, long story short, client was dictating treatment, telling them what to do. There's only two types of providers out there. I talk about this all the time. It's probably the second most popular thing that I talk about besides like doing shorter treatment times is you're either a service provider or you're a solutions provider. A service provider gets paid accordingly, you know, for the time spent. They get paid pretty similar to how what everyone else is doing. They get judged based off everyone else. I want you to be the solution provider, the person that actually solves the problem. And when you're not looked at as a solution provider, you get clients telling you what to do, where to treat, how to treat, when they're gonna come in, all sorts of shit. The clients run the show and you're just like, fuck it, what do I do? I need the money, I'm not gonna piss them off. And then you just grin and bear it and you go through it and it ain't good for nobody involved. So why does this happen? There's a lot of reasons. Number one is, oh man, the internet is full of morons and dumb fucks and stupid ass people basically showing everyone how to fix their own injuries and claiming to be an expert. I see it all the time on my Instagram feed, LinkedIn, uh, YouTube, like here's five steps to fix this. Jam this fucking lacrosse ball in this area and you can fix it. Or here's some stretches, here's some stuff. It's like, it's, it's so ridiculous. And we're dealing with a complex and very detailed and a lot of things going on in injury. Imagine if like a fucking dentist came on there and told people how to drill out their own cavity. That's what these people are doing. So now you got all these people on social media thinking they can fix their own injury. And they're like, yeah, I just need to do this. It's like, fuck. And then the client is like, they don't know what to do. And they're just like, well, so-and-so just said, all I need to do is jam a lacrosse ball in there. Well, fuck, that sucks. And it puts you in a bad spot. Next thing that happens is we are humans, but we're also these animals, you know, that haven't evolved that much. And in any interaction or just being around another person there's these things called a power frame and in the frame someone has to be the alpha and someone has to be the beta and a lot of times what happens is you get stuck as the provider being put in the beta role where the client di dictates everything they tell you what to treat why to treat, how to treat, what they're gonna pay, when they're gonna come in, and you just take it because you're stuck in that service mentality because you're not really solving the problem and you don't have the confidence, you're like, I need to get paid, I gotta pay my bills, so whatever, I'll just do whatever the fuck they want and who really cares, fuck that person, and that's just not a good way to be. Next one is, you didn't do a good enough job in the initial process of educating the client about what's going on, what you're gonna do, why you're treating it, all that stuff. You just jumped right into the treatment. You're just like, yeah, oh, it hurts there. All right, yeah, let's try some shit. We'll just, we'll just, we'll just randomly throw some shit at the wall and try it. That's why in my system, my system. That's right. I said we teach a system and a process, not just some bullshit technique where they're like, oh, just come in and throw some cups in there and do some stretching and you know, a little deep work with your elbow and, you know, a little more cups on there and some corrective exercises and see what happens. You know, you took a weekend seminar, all of a sudden you're a fucking expert, but you're not getting any real results. And then lastly is you have no idea what to do yourself. You're stuck winging it, winging, can't say it right, winging it and trying out a bunch of shit. And here's the thing, the more variables you add, the cloudier the outcome becomes. Think about that. How many different techniques and seminars have you taken? How deep have you really got into those? You probably took them once, you took them for a weekend, and all of a sudden you're a fucking expert in that, then you're on to the next thing because nothing is getting better. You don't need more technique, you don't need more treatment, you need better systems and a better process. So how to keep this from happening? Once again, understand the power frames and the interaction about what's going on. And there is a frame out there called the doctor frame. Now I understand you're not a doctor, you don't have a doctorate, but you can still carry yourself as a doctor and you can explain things like a doctor and you can have knowledge 
like a doctor, not like all these fuckheads on the internet that are just out there spewing stupid shit about how you can fix your own injury. Because here's the thing, when you have the doctor frame, most people don't question the doctor frame. When they give them a prescription, they tell them what's wrong, they go, okay, they don't fight them. But that's because the doctor is the alpha. They're not the beta. And you're stuck in that beta. And when you're in that beta, you got to put up with a lot of shit that you don't want to put up with. Next thing is have a system and a process from start to finish. Don't just jump right into treatment. Ask questions. Think critically. Do an evaluation. Palpate. Use your brain. Work smarter, not harder. So what do we do in my clinics and other clinics trained in the PEAK method? First thing we do is we qualify the client. So what does that mean? We qualify them basically. We only work on neck, shoulder, elbow, and wrist pain. They got to have that problem. They can't have a foot problem. They can't have a knee problem. They can't have an ankle problem. It's just those things. That's what we work on and we're really fucking good at working on it. Number two is they've had to been dealing with a problem for at least six months. You know, honestly, I hate acute injuries. They're, they're a pain in the ass. The client's just looking to get this instant pain and get out of it. It's not. When it's six months, they've been living with it. They understand that it's a problem and they need a solution for it. And lastly, they've had to see other providers. They've had to go to like maybe another massage therapist, a bunch of shitty chiropractors, PT that doesn't work, the ortho that just pumps them full of injections and pain pills to really understand that we know what the fuck we're doing. We know what we're talking about because we have a process. Then after that, we do a detailed consultation. They take about 10 or 15 minutes and we collect all the history points. And I teach this a lot in our trainings and our seminars as well. It's not some bullshit one page intake form that they don't even read and you don't even look at. It's a thorough and in-depth process of asking the right questions. There's 12 questions we ask every single client. This allows us to collect data. Then, based off of that data, we schedule them later, not the same day, for a detailed functional evaluation. And during that functional evaluation, we're looking at overall range of motion, quality of the muscles and tissues and overall functioning. And we do this with pictures, videos, advanced palpation, and even some treatment passes to allow us to know exactly what is wrong and then formulate a plan. Then after we're done with that, we give the clients an educational presentation called a report of findings. We tell them what the problem is, what issue, what the issue is causing, how we're going to treat it, how we will know the treatment is working, and then giving them a full treatment plan. And then lastly, when we're done with that, we have them commit to a treatment plan that is prepaid for at least eight visits up front. That's a motherfucking system right there not just wing it, trying out some random technique. And then the last thing to keep it from happening is get a book. It's uh, it's called Pitch Anything by a man named Oren Claff, O-R-E-N, last name Claff, K-L-A-F-F. And you'll start to understand these frames and basically how to handle it appropriately and then get yourself in a good place. And then when it does happen and you have this happen in your office, because it's going to happen, you're going to have people like that, and you got to make sure you kind of do it in a nice way. You kind of ease into it. So I have a, th- I have three levels that I follow. You know, number one is maybe when they do it, where they tell me what's wrong, or they tell me where to treat, or they say this is what their diagnosis is, even though they have no fucking clue. I kind of start nice. I actually generally ask them where, what the source is where they learned that, and like, hey, where, where'd you hear that? And they'll be like, oh, you know, there's some guy on the internet called Mobility, blah blah blah. And he said, this is what the problem is. I'm like, huh, interesting. Yeah, I'm familiar with them. But here's the thing. And then you educate them properly. You're not really kind of being a a prick or a dick yet. You're just kind of like, eh, you know, oh, where'd you get that? You know, like I'm genuinely curious about what's going on. Then if they keep pushing it, then I start to kind of be a little bit of a jerk. And I make a joke. I just say, hey, what do you do for a living? And then they might say, like this one person I talked to with the low back thing or whatever, whatever their problem was, they're like, oh, I, uh, I, I'm a carpenter. And I go, huh, that's interesting. I didn't, I didn't know they teach advanced anatomy at carpenter school. <laughs> and I just kind of laugh or I'll even say something like, oh, you seem to be very well equipped. Where, what training do you have in the medical field? And you kind of say it like a prick and they're like, oh, man, you are kind of, he is right. I, I am not an expert. I'm actually a, a carpenter and I should stick to being a carpenter. And then lastly, when it does get real bad and they keep pushing, I slap them, not literally, figuratively with some reality. And I say something like this. I understand you think that that treatment style, that treatment or the style you need and you've had in the past 
and you're comfortable with that. You think that's what works. But here's the thing. If it truly worked, then why are you here in the first place? Mic drop. Got it? Exactly. Stop taking shit from people. So all I got for you guys, let's close up the show. Number one is have a process and qualify people. And when something does happen, address it right away with a proper education and communication. This comes with following a system, not just some random treatment you learn during some weekend seminar. Number two, share this episode with others to help them out as well. Number three, Go grab our new revamp training courses. They're available for download with all the links in the episode. Number four is start thinking differently, treating differently, and stop focusing on the quantity of the treatment you provide, but instead on the quality it provides. And the best way to do that is to do it faster and better than anyone else out there. And as I always close out all these episodes, go out there and be fucking great today. It's the only thing that truly pays. Appreciate you guys. We'll see you on the next one. Bye. Thanks so much for listening. If you want help on the path to being able to double your income, all while working 50% less and being taken seriously as a healthcare provider, I have some great resources for you. Number one, get access to our free training modules and introduction to my system, The Peak Method. Number two, subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Soft Tissue Revolution. Links to all of this can be found in the show notes. Lastly, if you like the show, please leave us a five-star review and share it with others that you know it could help.